Hi, welcome to this video. We have been working hard again. It's September the 9th and 15th September as of every 15th of the month till July 2019 will have a release. So in the middle of the month there will be a release at all months except in the holiday, the summer holiday in August there will be no ISO. I have put on my virtual box for you version 6.9.2 from July and we're going to install a new number it seems 18.9 we went for a new numbering and let's follow the article that accompanies this video we go to Arca Linux hello just say continue continue so you don't have to put in a password and here it is explained what Arca Linux really is and you go and, and scroll through it and see how you can or why you're using or what you can do with um, article Linux. so lots of information here also lots of uh, tips and sites and invitation for discord as well youtube video and so on and at the bottom you say here find all the information about the latest release and that's what this is about this video is about the new release 18.9 so that's a new article that uh, accompanies this um, video now of course this is um, September 2018 so it will be up here at, it, uh, at the home page but it's still here as well but at some point in time you'll ask yourself where is it so it's in the blog news releases by the by if you want to know what we're doing in meantime between the releases then you go check out the beta version. So all our beta testers are checking out this information for the Arch Linux ISO, Arch Linux D ISO, and all the Arch Linux B ISO. So all the information, technical information, is here. The information we're going to take a look at is is here and is less technical, let's say. So Arch Linux is a rolling release. It means you can do a clean install. You don't have to do a clean install. And this video combines two goals one to explain how to do an, a rolling release so how to keep up and, and update everything and the second is okay what have we done what has changed and you can see that after a clean install of course as well so the numbering has changed we set it already in the middle of the month and this 18 is 2018 and 9 is september and well then we have versions one two three four five so i can put them online and the beta testers say okay version 2 version 3 version 4 and so on but actually we talk about 18 9 meaning september 2018 release the packages will follow as well a similar numbering so we know we've built it in 2018 for the september release okay so that's our um, idea so we can follow up how old is this package the launch date is always the 15th why we need to bridge our holiday so in august there will be no iso everybody is enjoying uh, a nice day off and that's how we uh, roll then we have to make had to make a decision about the yahoo everybody was thinking okay what's happening there so um, i think even in april or may we're already experimenting with ryzen and, and yay and after talking with the developers we went for yay here i hope i pronounced it correctly and trizen is a secondary when we use scripts and article linux d it will look if it's there and it will use this as the first one so if you decide to uninstall yay then it will take trizen and the third one and the fourth one and the fifth one you check out the scripts now this meant of course a lot of work because all the references to yahoo need to be uh, removed so all the scripts and the aliases had to be changed into EA and everywhere Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, Arch Linux B, everywhere. Now to install software, we need to type EA Open Office if you don't know the name really, uh, like EA Icon Theme, and then you get a list of lots of icon themes on the AUR. And if you do know the name and you would just want to install it, then the S then he just knows okay you need to install it and if you installed a dozen of time and you don't want all these confirmations all the time you say no confirm 
updating your system is still the same. You update, uh, use this command to have the Arch Linux updates and the Arch Linux updates. But this command here is just going to update everything. So these days I update this one first. I type in update so I see what's coming from Arch Linux and Arch Linux. And then afterwards I run this one. So then it's only Arch since we have already updated these guys here. So it's a neat way to separate, um, uh, well, the things that are coming from Arch and Arco and AOR, because you know, of course, AOR, these packages are, are prone to, to sometimes not work. So that's the same um, command, but behind it is, of course, this yay. We've um, changed hundreds and hundreds of scripts and Arch Linux D made sure they all work so the testing phase was maybe longer than the changing phase but anyway everything is tested so 11 desktops work with Arch Linux D uh, scripts so that's good and Arch Linux B scripts had to be changed as well rewritten a little bit because uh, frankly we need to maintain it um, 11 ISOs um, well, you can sit there and, and burn 11 ISOs and then yes, 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 we had to type in three times yes and so on. So it was not uh, workable, that's not, not uh, good for me to maintain. So I made the script, I changed the script. And at this point in time, it does not ask for the three yeses. It doesn't say a hey, yes, yes, yes. No, it just burns it. Meaning we can now make 11 ISOs in two hours time in one go. It means I run the script, go eat, go enjoy the sun, come back and 11 ISOs are waiting for me. So that's a great improvement for our maintenance for you guys. We've done also an uh, Sardian server uh, update. Uh, we spent some time in that as well because we want to make tutorials about Plasma and Deeping. And I did see that we are well, still having icons in Plasma and Deeping that were not conform our Sardi icon theme. So this monochrome theme, for instance, so they've all been created, it was a bunch, I think, plus 60 or something. But anyway, it's done, it's in there, and they all look great, nothing is missing. Of course, nothing is missing is a big word. I mean, what we install, what we standard install, every icon is okay, is there. Then we have uh, communication about Arc, about Arc Linux D and the B ISO. There are some things related, so things related to the ISO itself. Uh, we have um, chosen to give the root account bash rather than ZSH. Uh, we discovered also that there were permissions from sudoers and pullkit that were um, different than the package suggested. It's on the form, so a warning that you get. So we know how it uh, happened and at this point in time it is now hardwired in the building script. So whoever wants to build um, Arch Linux, Arch Linux uh, B, everything is, is now uh, programmed to be correct. There is also better font resolution for i3 that we made, new Calamaris of course, so this is the graphical installer. The added applications, we need this yay bin, uh, we, we took the bin one because um, that's smaller to install, it's easier to install than the yay version. version. I found out then that with the new builds in Arch Linux B, Cinnamon, that we were missing uh, this little application for the languages. So if you want to change the languages, there's a little icon in the system settings. We were missing that. A comment from uh, YouTube, I think, um, people saying, hey, you have uh, transmission on this Arch Linux B Plasma, and yeah, why not? So transmission is out and KTorrent is in. That was the tip from the user from um, YouTube. So we do listen. And then removed applications. Yeah, transmission is then gone. Um, Yahoot is going to be erased, but we give it some time um, to uh, give you time to change maybe any personal scripts there. And then improvements. When we close the lid of the laptop, you should uh, hear or see that the computer or the laptop is going to sleep. There are some tuner custom actions requiring root privileges. If you say right mouse click, it says something open as root or uh, 
change so rights to root let's see if we can quickly say we'll see what it is so ownership to root and ownership to user these two guys have been changed so that you need to put in your password more details in the date so this gives us much more detail than it used to be like today and yesterday i can't work with that so this is uh, sometimes and the reference needs to be one hour less or etc so that's good for me as well we decided not to use the opacity so if a um, screen is opaque is um, not active it becomes a little bit opaque or, or um, you see through it that's no longer used and we have a nice link here to neofetch since people often ask questions about neofetch then you have here the help resources neofetch and you go to the github and then you can see what elements you should type and change we changed an updated application so this is just a bunch of software that were uh, updated since July and all the packages from Arc Linux that have 18.9.1 means that we've created it let's say uh, mid-August between mid-August and mid-September let's say right so it's uh, actually uh, packaged or created or built for this release there were some um, well it's probably our mistake not to be uh, transparent or, or tell people so it's clear that elegant and eleganto works fine only if you have eight cores so now we've called this guy eleganto dash eight cores and eleganto dash eight cores so people know that okay you need to have eight cores otherwise there will be no conky simple as that it will not give an error it will not just be not show you should not forget to delete the old conky files then or delete the file the, the folder the conky folder and just copy paste it from the etc scale so we should remember to do that later on awesome so article linux b and article linux d awesome we got a new update coming in so it's a beautiful configuration everything is up to date again and then the super key on open box so if you press in open box on the super key we'll have a menu okay a little application makes sure of that if you want to see what applications we're putting on our iso that's this one that one for the d and the b is a bunch of uh, packages so that's 11 githubs 11 desktops what's new uh, we promised every month something fun so this is uh, our pac-man and with another pac-man 2 and it gives us this nice little image. In Plasma, we've made also a new look. So Article Linux B Plasma had a was an experiment of mine to see uh, if I get, could get a minimal installation. What is minimally necessary? But later on, I said, okay, it's it's ugly. It's just ugly. So um, we have now this back this arc theme look and beautiful uh, colors here. Uh, it's much better you'll see what will we do in the future um, I am behind tutorials I know so plasma is there article Linux D plasma article Linux B plasma but no tutorials and as well article Linux D and article Linux B deeping tutorials are behind so that's something that's on my menu that I should do next to my 40 to do things on my list but okay we'll get there and Qtile is in the pipelines. Um, Nick is working on that and we'll see when it will arrive. We uh, do not put us, uh, don't give ourselves a deadline or anything. We just want to make it good. And then we're up coming to the upgrading part. And actually, Eric, you should have started already with the upgrading. But basically, what you do with upgrading is copy paste ETC scale, update everything, of course. And eventually, if we say, hey, there's a new package, we created this or that, then you need to actually install it. So minus S and install it. Okay. And this video that we're making is going to replace this nice image here. So now let's do some work. First of all, I do Alt T. Don't like that wallpaper, Alt T. Don't like it either. Let's go for a Zen wallpaper. Control Alt T. 
like I said, why not first update? So we see the things coming from Arch Linux and Arch Linux. Now, people have asked in the past, hey Eric, what's this? Eh? Replace. If you see a capital Y for yes, then you can just go ahead and say yes, yes, yes. And we have 3.6 gigabytes installed and only 60 megabyte minus upgrade. So that's that's Arch. We're normal, I would find it normal, but if you move from Debian or any other, maybe you say, hey, that's a lot to have less. <laughs> Let's just wait for this and so the video doesn't get too long. All right, so I have installed an ISO that came from July. There is a person who has a key which is, cannot be looked up remotely anymore. So there's a required key missing from the key ring. So this should give a ring. So this should, all light bulbs should go on and say, ah, is there something called maybe, this is Arch Linux keyring. This is a major thing. Write it down. Arch Linux keyring. Install it. And you see the difference. Here it is one from June to 2018, June 27. And this is 0808. So middle, we're still in Italy at that point in time, right? So middle of the vacation. So it is getting more keys in and is disabling other keys. More in, more out. Okay, fine, all good, as long as we can update. So again, yes, yes, yes. And let's see if we can pause the video. Once it launches, we can pause it again. And we're off, pausing the video. So everything installed just fine, we're at the end. Of the installation and there are two things we need to do because we've learned that um, github is not remembering the permissions of a folder so if you're working on my machine everything will be set correctly when i push it to github you'll forget it and when you get it and that's something specific that we do uh, we give you the files we don't give you the ISO, we give you the possibility to build Arc Linux and to build Arc Linux B, right? So that means you are getting something and the permissions should be correct. And that's what we've learned. Uh, GitHub does not remember the um, settings. So we've now hard coded it in our building script. So it's correct in the building script. Well, let's delete this whole paper again. Let's take another one. And um, so, yeah, we need to do some actions on your system. You scroll up and you look up and you say, ha, look, directory permissions differ on this one. All right, fine. Let's just put it on site, Control T. What you need to do, maybe a little lesson about permissions as well. So um, let's go to ETC and ask for a list. And if you do a list minus AL, you get something more. What it's saying is sudo was D. So you scroll down and you see that this one has a permission of 755. Why am I saying 7? So this bunch is, well, remember the movie Hugo? There is a video or a film uh, called Hugo. It's the name of a person. And remember the name, get rid of the H, and this one is for the users. You can read, the users can read, the users can write, and the user can execute. Now, the U and this one is the G, the group, and those three are the others. So, the group can read, cannot write, and can execute. And what it's saying here, that this should be a zero. And how do I come to this uh, strange con con uh, synthesis or, or conclusion because it's a binary thing. Let's move it here. So still talking about this one. The D is for directory. 
but this is 4 let's do it again this is 4 this is 2 and this is 1 so binary thinking 1 2 and 4 equals 7 so this is 7 the users get the 7 and these guys is 4 and 1 so that's 5 and this should be set to 0 so that's what we lost when we put it on github now it's also on the form so if you don't see them uh, don't recall it it's there it's on the form but quickly change it so sudo schmott 750 so change the modus 750 i'm already need to see so sudoers.d is let me think yep that's what i need to do all right and then i'm gonna ask it again what happened it changed it's still seven this is five and here is nothing so zero so that's fixed so this one is fixed like i said it's in the forum where you can find it as well and there's another one that we discovered that had not had lost its permission here 750755 so another fix for that one now i can just type in like so and then you just type etc pulpit one and then rules d and then of course eric you should be super user or pseudo i am root right so if you navigate to the pull kit and we ask here give me show me the new uh, permissions then you see here again it's no longer 755 it's now seven right this is four two no no two but the one so four and one is five and this is zero so that's solved and those two things uh, are of course on the clean install so if you say whoa what's this when you clean install it it's it's now built in that um, whatever where it's coming from doesn't matter uh, it will be those permissions so that's that and then when everything is up to date well that's the update so that means that maybe probably <laughs> we have also stuff from the AOR so let's stop it so Control c and you can stop it and you can see so i have indeed created a lot of icons so they're coming from uh, version 12 here menu libre has to be rebuilt uh, there was that's this one as you see it will not open so there is a new version of uh, menu libre and if you don't install it again if you don't upgrade this thing then this will not work it will not just not open and for the rest the mac hour is there times uh, so and yay of course another update so i'm pretty uh, confident that you'll be um, well pleased with yay i am i have all the scripts work uh, article linux d just flies by so yeah yay trison those two are the guys that uh, we rely on, rely on for the coming two to three years so let him do his job while he's doing that let's make him smaller we go to the thing we need to do and that is we need to copy paste and we have to watch out for the conky i think yeah okay the conky so i just want to here to, to say here down here brup, all the way down here copy paste the hidden content from etc scale that's what's in my head for the next thing so while this is building doesn't matter let him build take wallpaper buy wallpaper old t old t variety is there old t okay let's take this one for raniel he lives in paris he'll like it so here there etc scale make it here put it here so this one needs to go there so you have it all the time and it's not empty control h if you don't remember it it's here control h show hidden file so it's not empty control a control c 
and usually it just say just copy paste everything over over but okay you think about it will you override something have you been working on any of these files then of course you do it another way you see what you changed or give it another name or use the word melt like in the other videos melt um, plank does not like what you do you overwrite his configurations so you say okay plank restart done so the conky there was an issue with the conky and the conky is here the eight core and this one needs to go so you know now that we need eight cores for it otherwise it won't work so i can't even show you because um, i have eight cores four to the virtual box four to my machine so it won't work you need to have the real eight cores for this so that's something i need to be aware of um let me think and check okay i just went over the article again i don't think um, i've missed anything and the major part of course is when you end when you say okay i am now not at 6.9.2 but i followed everything and oh yeah we need to reboot probably for the icons here so but we need still to yeah install so we'll do that uh, later file system etc lsb double click make it bigger super big so you can read and it's 18 9.5 that's the last one so 2018 in september version 5 is the one we make we forget about the code names there are no more co code names we just go month by month by updates so distribution description everything is okay we say save password goes in close this thing up ask again Control alt t and there we go so we have now the 18.9.5 version without the clean install everything is now the same even if you would if you would do a clean install it will have the same elements but of course uh, every software package that you deleted or uh, added is still on your system all your documents are still here this is what they call a rolling release and if this was all too difficult that's no problem just do a clean install do uh, maybe there's an interesting video i can include here as well um, it's on youtube.com and I do why I think will work and it's about the workflow so it's just an interesting way to see how I and other people maybe check out other videos how they make sure that we have um, the data as soon as possible in so i've been installing article linux b 11 times right 11 times and 10 minutes to install article linux any of them 10 minutes to install all the scripts nemesis scripts and all the rest is dropbox and sync and um, in sync downloading and in one 30 minutes you have a new system a clean system a new system so it's a good tip maybe for you to check out how I managed to get a new system, a clean install and have all my documents again in 30 minutes. So that's a rolling release and the new uh, version we've talked about. Um, enjoy at Linux. And if you can support us financially, you know where the website is. And well, learn, enjoy and have fun. That's our motto. Cheers.